Richard Southern joins us once again. Richard, amid this pandemic, hospitals were concerned about being overwhelmed with coronavirus patients, but now officials are scratching their head over a decrease to ER visits for one particular kind of visit. Yeah, I find this very interesting. I want to get your take on it. So hospitals, they say, Janela, they've seen a huge decrease the past five months in the number of heart attack cases coming huh. in, in the number of stroke cases, and in the number of premature babies born. They're all way down over you know where they were at this time last year. So this is a U.S. study, mind you, but the U.S. study found uh, that um, heart attack and stroke cases in the ER were down 40 to 60% in the first uh, few months of the year over the same time last year. Hmm. Premature baby births down 40%. So no one, Janela, knows the exact reasons, but doctors have some theories. And you know, when it comes to the lack of preemie babies, they think you know social distancing may have cut down on infections for the hmm. expected mothers. They think less air pollution from fewer cars on the huh. road may have played a role in both the babies and the heart attacks. And they also found that simply not going to work, I was you know, say. resting at home <laughs> and not having those usual stressors may have made it for fewer preemie babies and fewer heart attacks. That, Isn't that was crazy? my first thought that maybe it's just less stress. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are more stressed during this pandemic, yeah. but maybe some people are a little less stressed. They're able to take a little easier stress, at home. And you know, uh, maybe, you know, your, your annoying uh, co-worker or your boss or whatever maybe hasn't been there as much for some people. They also said, you know, as is the case with some heart attack cases, maybe they didn't go to the ER because they were afraid of what might Hopefully be at the hospital that's as far as COVID-19 is the case. For the record, uh, so look and theorize about that. I was say, for the record, none of my colleagues are annoying. I miss all of them. <laughs> Please come we're back good. soon. We're lucky in that regard. You know. <laughs> okay. It, on a serious note, though, it seems like the virus has many young people thinking about the big picture and, you know, their life. Yeah, life insurance, apparently. Uh, life insurance sales way up among young people, and that's mm. notable because young people typically don't uh, tend to buy a lot of life insurance, but TD Bank says uh, those between age 30 and 40, they've seen a 50% a uptick in life insurance policies being bought by the uh, age 30 to 40 group. Uh, age 30 and under, uh, sales up 30%. So it seems that, you know, starting to think about the future, especially if you have a young family and there's a pandemic going on. It's one of those things, I guess, it's important to think about. We don't really always want to think or talk about, right? We're all thinking about our mortality. Okay, let's end on a high note. Most flights yes. have been grounded, but you're finding a new way to soar above Toronto. So I love this. Microsoft is coming out with the latest version of its flight simulator. This is, it's oh, a fine. game, but it's really more of like a super simulation. Janella, look at this. We're over Toronto. Now, what it does, this game, there's the Island Airport. What it does, it takes data, real-time data from maps, from Bing Maps, and it puts it in the game. So it means you can get a plane in the game and literally find your own house or your own apartment and that fly by. Pretty cool, That's Richard. Pretty <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Janella.